Welcome to the Wheel Show. What's going on, everybody? The first, the first, the first of uh, a lot, right? First of many. What's going on, the Don? How you doing? What's going on? A fantastic Monday, I must say. Had a fabulous day today. Fabulous. Wow. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm I'm glad you did. I'm 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 headed to work and got a call. Had to go to another site. I'm like God, now I gotta get on the expressway again. So I mean, I'm glad you did. <laughs> But I mean, other than that, man, I'm with you. It's it's been a blessing, you know what I'm saying, Monday, and being a blessing to go ahead and 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 get you guys rock and roll with the Will Show. Let me go ahead and just squash all this stuff right now. The Mark and Will Show still exists. Um, you know, we want to go ahead and do a lot of different shows, and we got one coming on after this. You know, the Mark and Will is the brand, so hey. But it's time for your boy to have his own gig. So I got my own gig, and with my help of uh, the Don and T-Rock and things like that. So, um, And I will get my other stuff together next time, Don. It's just fresh, you know what I'm saying? So uh, right, right. it's all good. It's all good like that. Right. Um, Man, I love the new, studi- the new studio in here, you know, with the new show and stuff. So, hey, okay. Yes, yeah, look, look crisp, look crisp. Yeah, look right, crisp. It's right. all good. Um want to let you guys know where to find it. It's still going to be on at the Mark and Will Show, everything. So all the, all the shows is going to be at the Mark and Will Show, period. You're talking about X, Facebook, TikTok, you don't stop, Instagram, YouTube. And we got a very, very special, special show. The first one, you had, you had to do it like this. If you're going to do a new show, you had to do it like this. And I don't think many people can do it like this, but we are. And also... If you notice, no polls, no polls. We're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, the boys' player of the week, and we'll get into that, and that would probably be on Wednesday. But without further ado, let's get it rocking. Tonight, we have Leah Macy, Bethlehem High School, class of 25, basketball five-star, wing and power forward. Hold on, let's do it this way. <laughs> How you doing, Leah? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. It's not it's not every day that you get, you know what I'm saying, a, a phenomenal <laughs> player like you to come on. But we really appreciate you without a doubt. And we want to go ahead and get it started like this. So, you know, just give us a, a review of the uh, this past season. Um, I think, you know, it was a really special season. Um, you know, getting to play with a new group, I really enjoyed. Um, I knew some of the girls going in. We had actually played on a team together, like fifth and sixth grade. So I was excited to be back with that group, and I know that they're really special. Um, it did, the season didn't start out that well. You know, I had an injury, um, but thankfully it wasn't that bad. Um, but, you know, got got back um, and then finally got to play with them. And then we had a really, really good postseason. Um, and just to finish out the season, I think, you know, we, we played really, really well. Um, and we got back to Rupp, uh, which is the goal. Um, and, you know, I think we made a pretty good run at Rupp. Um, but you know, I was happy to play with that group of girls. You know what? And you hit it on the head because it's funny uh, that you said it because, you know, we do a – girls and boys uh play of the week poll and, and you know i'm looking and i'm like i don't see Le- like what is going on you know i didn't know what the heck because i know you transferred or, you know and i was like what is going on is a hold up or whatever and then it came out about the injury so with the injury and everything 
How do you feel about your individual performance this season? Um, I thought it, I thought it was really good. It was a it was a lot different. I would not like environment, but it was a lot different from the sixth and fifth region. Um, so getting back to my from my injury, um, I had to kind of you know adjust to that a little bit. Um, but I think you know I I played really well. We we had some teams that you know we just we couldn't play very long in games because we would get such big leads. Um, but I think, you know, when we played really good competition, um, I played really well. Um, and, you know, I showcased in and out. I actually got to shoot the three a lot more this season, which I was happy about. Yeah. Um, I shot, shot a pretty high percentage. So I was really happy about that. Um, but I, I played, I, I had a good season. <laughs> how, long, how, uh, how many games did you miss, Leah? I don't know how many exactly, but the time frame was December 2nd to about January 5th. So almost a month. Um, yeah. And just the stretch because of Christmas tournaments that made it more games because you played, we played so many games in that season uh, of Christmas. So I'm not sure how many I missed. Right. <laughs> look, look, Don, we're going to see what kind of, what percentage, what percentage did you shoot three pointers? I'm pretty sure it was. 50 something percent i'm pretty sure all right or, Every, or very high 40s but i'm pretty sure 50 i knew she was gonna have an answer i knew it she's a baller man she was right, right, it, man. Right. She, she, yeah. <laughs> even though i was looking all these up you know i was looking all this up i know she played a total of 26 games for the season so yeah okay yes right right average 25 points 13.8 rebounds uh, I'm, I'm just saying she she balled she balled she balled <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you this so of the season that you played what was your highlight of the season for you Ooh, uh, um the first thing that comes to mind was we were playing thomas nelson and i had 24 points in the first quarter uh i was on i was on <laughs> that was like i was like wow i was like four for four from three i think that in that quarter i was like yeah, I was like, wow, but we had a pretty good lead <laughs> after that. <laughs> what did you end up with? Um, I, I think like 30-something because we, we didn't play like the second half. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. No, you didn't do that. So <laughs> are there any areas in which you feel you could have performed better? Um, I would say I, I did a lot of everything. Um, I think our defense, you know, individually and as a team, did improve as the season went on. I would say that was one of our biggest struggles because um, we were very, very athletic, but our man-to-man -man struggled. Um, but during post – because we could score the ball anytime, like me and, and all, you know, especially the five starters, you know. We put up 99 points in, like, a region semifinal game. Like, um, but our defense – for sure was something that we had to work really hard on. Um, but we did get better as better at it um, when the season, you know, was coming to an end. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. All right. So what was the most challenging part of the season for you then? For sure. My injury, the for injury. sure. Cause that, that was, I'd never actually been sidelined that long before, um, you know, maybe like a ankle roll, but, you know, being out for that, that amount of time, that was for sure a struggle. Um, but I think it allowed, we were, we were an old team, but we also had a very young bench. Um, so that allowed a lot of the young, young players like my sister to play um, during the call or during the um, Christmas tournament. Mm -hmm. And I would say that helped us just cause like we were able to, you know, get some bench ready for the rest of the season. Um, but it also gave me a different perspective because I, you know, had to sit over there and watch the game from a, you know, different view. But I would say, yeah, that was the most challenging part. But I was very, I was very grateful that it wasn't, it wasn't worse. Right, right. For, mm -hmm. for the people, you know, we're in uh, the Louisville area. For the people who do not know about Bethlehem, um, I want to ask this question with the, the you know, uh, from this point of view, as far as from people outside looking in, how do you feel about the team's overall performance and, and what, where does it stand into the, um, let's say the history books for Bethlehem? Um, I would say, you know, we're a really, really small school. I think a little under 300 or maybe a little over. So we're really small. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would say, we, you know, we had a really, really good season. They, they've been the state that was six straight 
no, four straight years of going to state um, and mm. six straight districts. Um, so they, they had, you know, a lot of good history around there, um, which I was really, you know, happy to join. But we just had a really competitive group, um, and we knew what it took to win. Most of them, you know, were multi-sport athletes, um, and they, you know, won that soccer state championship. So coming into basketball, they knew that they had to just carry that over, um, and just they're very competitive and hard workers. Um, so we, we had a really, really good season. Right. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. So what are so what are your goals for the off season to prepare for next season for your, that senior year you're going to have? Um, I would say individually, you know, just always, you know, keep working on every part of my game. Um, whether that's I'm going to work a lot on defense because I know going to college, the speed of the game is a lot faster than high school. Um, so that that's one main thing. And then as a team, you know, just developing the young kids because we're going to have a pretty heavy sophomore class next year. Um, we only have one junior and then a couple seniors. So we're going to be, you know, pretty young still. So just getting, you know, some of those girls experience over the summer and working out with them, things like that to help them for next season because, um, you know, we're going to need them. That's great. Great answer. Great answer. Definitely. So – how does it feel to play with your sibling? I would say this. So this is our first year playing together. Um, oh. And it was, it was, it was really fun. It was really good. I would say, you know, we work out together a lot, but we're two very, very different players. Um, but she, we complement each other so well. And, you know, it, it was, it is a lot of fun. Cause it's just like a different experience. Like, something that like if if you have never done it before you can't really explain um right. so i'm just happy that we have one more year together um and you know next year she'll be she'll, she'll be starting and playing a lot bigger role than she did this year so i think you know the trust is always there which i think is a big part um right. it's like a different yeah. different bond with a teammate so it, yeah it's really fun <laughs> and her name is lauren macy right <laughs> Yes, L O R E N. She okay. spells it a little differently. <laughs> okay, okay. Shout out to her. We can't wait to get her on the show. <laughs> yes. Oh, she has a she has a big personality. This is right oh, up her yeah. alley. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. I know. I don't know how I do it with the Don. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? So. um how did how did you handle the pressure in critical games and moments though? Um, I would say I've played on a lot of big stages before. Um, so you know, just trusting my work and you know the amount of time I've put in to you know workouts and practice, um, and just knowing that like just trusting um, because you know if I go out and play my game, nobody can stop me. Um, so don't try to do right. anything that you know you you haven't i guess done before but um just don't play scared yeah but i would say the words trust just trust your work that's true that's true and she has put up monster numbers if you guys have <laughs> not seen her play ridiculous i didn't get to see this but i seen it last year and she is remarkable pick up big time so let me ask you this leo what can you say about the support that bethlehem fans have for you guys throughout the season Oh, I would say it was amazing. Um, the community was awesome, whether it's in school, um, but basketball, for sure. Like, they love their sports around there. Um, and Barstown's such a small community, but a lot of people come back and watch games. You know, our gym's not very big, but it's, it's always packed. Um, you always have that support, and they travel. Um, the crowd that we brought to Ruff was really big both days. Um, mm -hmm. But the families are so nice. Um, they just want you to do the best. Um, so, yeah, my family and I were very, very happy, and we were very thankful for that. Let me ask you this now, because we, uh, the Will Show, the Mark and Will Show, everybody that's a, a part of this, we, we've been traveling. We've been going to games, and we're going to travel to a lot of games. Uh, is it going to be some seats? I mean, I know we have to get there early. I just want, you know, is there some seats in this gym? Yes, that's all, uh, yes. That's all I want to know. And you know what There's I'm talking right. Wait a minute. You know what I'm talking about. I know you done been some some gyms in Louisville that has, uh, has not had a lot of bleachers. I, that's all I'm saying. Because we're going to come and see you next year. Yeah, we have. It's, it is a pretty, it's a pretty small gym just because we're such a small school. Um, right. But, 
yeah, there there are there are bleachers, and if you let me know, I'll I'll get you I'll get you a place. <laughs> okay, thank you, because we will be coming. Right. I just wanted to. <laughs> right, right, right. So, all right. So, um, how how has your game evolved or changed over the course of the season? Um, I would say maturity was a big thing, especially mm-hmm. from like sophomore to junior year. Um, you know, my parents said that too. Like you could just tell by my demeanor and different things like that. Um, maturity played a big part. But I would say last year, um, at the very end of the year, I played a lot of point guard for Mercy. Um, so still, you know, getting that because I'm a mm. I'm a point forward. Like I'm gonna play a four in college. So oh my just gosh. being able to play in and out. <laughs> All around baller, just love it. Oh just my god, it. I, I, you gotta rank it because if you guys did not listen, if you, I mean, you look down here and you see wing power forward. She says she played a lot of point guard for Mercy. I did, and so I did. Yeah. that's a dream. That is a dream. How tall are you, Leah? I'm six two and like a half. Come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. This, the, the talent is just oozing off the screen. That's all I got to say. It's oozing. So we know about the injury that you, you know, that you had, you said, at the beginning of the season. How did you maintain your focus and stay uh, motivated during that time? Because, you know, I don't know. I mean, it might have been your first big injury or, or injury period. Yeah. And a lot of times people kind of check out. But how did you stay motivated and focused? Um. It, it was my first injury, so and the the only thing about it was you just had to rest. So I couldn't, you know, go out and you know just keep, you know, pounding my legs and doing workouts. But you know, I kept doing a lot of arm workouts and different things. But one thing that I realized is I could swim. So I did a lot of swimming mm. during that time because mm. it was it was good to move like my legs in the water, um, and that actually. It's very good exercise. It was. It made me very, very tired. But it also kept my conditioning up to like a certain point, um, so I didn't lose all of it. But you know, I just found different things to do, um, to to just you know, yeah, maintain my focus. But like just making sure that on the bench, I was like helping my teammates the way that I saw things, you know, from the bench over there, um, and helping them during timeouts um, and certain things like that. And like with my sister, she was so young, so just helping her with like scouting. Um, and like going into games, you know what certain players do and how to play them. Mm. Mm. That, that, that's I, I love that, and I love that like because you never really hear about if if you're able to do swimming because that that right there is a full body workout, unlike yeah. no other. Yeah, you can run and all that stuff, but that swimming <laughs> is real tough. So, hey, I like that though. Yes, yes. <laughs> man, man, man. So, how do you feel about so you going into Bethlehem, Bethlehem, and don't don't cut that name short. I, <laughs> come on, man! What, hey, come on, man! I tried, come on! I tried. All right, you going in there? And you know, you going in as one of the key players, and then as in your role, how do you feel about the leadership role that you had to take on during the season? Um, I would say, uh, you know, I'm always a leader, especially just like, like in my game. Um, you know, like it speaks for itself. But we had – I had a very gr- a good group of seniors, the three seniors that had me, Kenzie, Ashley, and Carly. Um, you know, they had been around that program for a while, um, you know, in basketball but in other sports. Um, so they were really, really good leaders. Um, and they were able to, you know, show me, you know, at Bethlehem, you know, different stuff like that. But – so I would say, you know, they were also really good leaders. But for me, like, I'm, you know, I'm just a natural leader um, in, from that point. But they were, they were a lot of help. She just taught us how to say it, Bethlehem. 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 Yeah, Bethlehem. Not Bethlehem, <laughs> Bethlehem. Okay. We got, we got I got to hear it every day. I told you I heard it work. So he, he be trying to tell me it work. My God, and Bethlehem. I still can't get it right. <laughs> Bethlehem. I got it now, though. I could never get it wrong now. Bethlehem. I'm, 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 I'm yes. straight now. I'm straight yes. Bethlehem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We get oh it right. my goodness! Now we get we got it right now. So All right. hold on, hold on. Let me y'all don't confuse me now. So now I gotta I gotta find what I need to do. <laughs> so um, let me see. You said the leadership role, Donnie. Quit quit saying that, bro. Because you, you I'm getting confused. <laughs> so what do you think the team needs to work on to be 
more successful for next year. I know you you hit on some um, defense. Is that it, or is it more than defense? I would say we're just we're just so young. Graduating those three seniors, you know, they were a really big part of the program for many years. Um, so myself and Tessa are, you know. Two of the two of the two starters that will return next year that played you know very big minutes um, and very big roles this season. So we're gonna have to have you know some young kids step into big roles uh, like my sister um, and another freshman named Kaylee. Um, so just during the off season, getting just working with them on everything I would say in their game, but defense and you know varsity is a different level of strength than you know speed. So. I would say just developing them overall. All right. So from this season, what's the biggest lesson that you learn and that you'll take into next season? Um, I would say like you can overcome adversity. Um, I would say whether that was like, you know, moving, that was, you know, that wasn't adversity at all, but, you know, just going in and that was, you know, a change. But then with my injury, that was a hard. Um, so just, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, that that's a, that so, was a tough question. All right. So I, I imagine though it had to be kind of hard going in with a new group of girls and then getting injured right before the season, then adapting to playing with these group of girls you know, getting into the flow of things. But maybe also, real quick, I mean, you still like, was you, you, you had your practice with them though, right? So they already got the feel of you in the summer or something like that whenever you um, made this move? I was, I didn't get to play any summer ball with them. And then we started practice very late October because they won that soccer state championship. Okay. So we were pretty, yes, we were about two weeks before season, maybe three and a half three weeks before season started that we got practice. And then I got hurt the second game of the year. Um, so coming back, I would say they had, we had kind of adjusted, you know, we were getting, getting to play with each other for a game and a half. And then they kind of went back to how they played last year, you know, with me not being there. And then coming back in, we, we adjusted to each other so well, so easily. And I think that's why we were playing such good basketball during postseason because we had just the right amount of time to, you know, get the feel for each other and, you know, find our ways um, right before postseason started. Let me ask this, Donnie, because I know I got you done on, on twice back to back. So let me, let me ask Leah this real quick. So what was the difference? What was the difference as far as the style of play with and without you? The teams, teams played a lot of five, uh, they, they matched up man to us when I wasn't in. And then when I played, we saw a lot of zone, a lot mm. of zone, whether that was a three, two, a two, three, or like a matchup zone. Um, and so it was very hard to like play five out like we, and like they had been used to playing. So I would say that was the biggest um, difference from this year. Me coming in was people played a lot of zone. Leah, you being nice. Let's say they triple teamed you. Let's just say that. I mean, come on. Everybody, everybody in the state, not even the state, in the nation know who you are. So, so yeah, we got a triple team up. <laughs> I would say it was it was so teams, you know, they, they couldn't really, they couldn't triple or double team me just because everybody else on the floor could hit a shot or do something. Um Ashlyn, Kinsey, Carly, and Tessa could all hit a shot if they came in double teamed. So I would say that's what made us really, really good and really dangerous offensively was because all five um, could score. Right. It, it, look, look, she's jumping the gun. We're going we gonna to talk about that. We know Carly is, uh, Thurman was a bad person. We, she had over, what, 2,000 points herself. So, yeah, we know that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be messing with you, though, Leah. Go ahead, Don. <laughs> so can you – can you describe a typical day of training during the off season? Um, I would say I like to wake up pretty early. Um, so usually I go and I try to work out in the morning. If I can, it'll be after, but try to go work out in the morning, probably an hour and a half, two hours. Um, sometimes an hour. I mean, you can get so much done in an hour. Mm -hmm. And then 
Um, I like to weight lift, but I usually do that at night. Um, so during the summer, I usually come back home um, and just swim and chill out for a little bit. Um, and then I usually go weight lift and then come home and I, I like to go to bed early too. So I'm, I'm on a kind of a tight, tight schedule, I would say. So <laughs> yeah, no, nothing, nothing too fancy, but, and then in, I'm always traveling. Um, in June, we do school ball and then July we have AAU. So I'm out, out of town for most like Friday to Monday, usually. Liam. Mm -hmm. Can you please, can you please, please, please tell the people how important is your your rest? Yeah, I would say that's been something over the years that, like, I wouldn't, like, have noticed. Um, but, like, people always say it, and I, it. I do notice it. Like, it's such a big difference. If I don't, you know, get my rest, I'm a whole different person. Um, and it's hard, and I struggle. So, yeah, sleep is very important. <laughs> very important. Especially for, you know, an athlete, uh, you know, that's trying to do what they need to do. Also, how many days do you train a week in the off season? Um, at least five. Um, oh. Yeah. And that's, like, in the gym, like, basketball. And then weightlifting three times, it kind of just depends, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so free with, with no school um, and, you know, I can drive myself. So, you know, on the day, I just, if, if I'm feeling good, then I'll, I'll go, I'll go weight lift. So right, right. some, some, it kind of differs. Gotcha. All right. All right. So, okay. So how do you address and work on improving your defense skills in your training sessions? Um, I would say a lot of like footwork stuff. Um, and also yeah. jump roping helps you a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, just like with foot speed and different stuff like that. But defense also, we play, my sister and I play a lot of one-on-one -on -one. for her, like offensively that helps her too. Um, and then, you know, defensively, you, you know, just kind of playing live action will help, help you a lot. Yes. Uh, you know what? The, it, the Don, you don't understand, my brother. You don't understand. Right mm -hmm. there. It's so funny because when I was uh, playing at Mail, you know, saying uh, my father, I, you know, it's hard to live up to somebody, you know, who's been before you, who's been really great. So one thing I asked him, my my going into my junior year, I think it was, a junior, yeah. I said, hey, man, I need, I, need, I need to get better, man. I need to get faster and stuff. First thing out of his mouth, he said, jump rope. Get your foot speed. It. I mean, people don't. They underestimate that jump rope. That works yeah. dividends. It does big time. Well, I was thinking yeah. she's just using that jump rope for those thirteen point eight rebounds she averaged this season. Well, it, it, it can't hurt it. It can't hurt it. <laughs> I mean, she. She. And, and thing about it is, I mean, it's it's kind of skewed because, like, if they they if they. Everybody turn your head, whooping somebody's butt. She ain't playing the whole game. game. She ain't no. playing the whole game. Okay. No. Okay. So check this out. This this is the great thing about the show with this part right here because there's a lot of people that go back because we're on YouTube, we on um, X, Twitter, and um, Facebook tonight. You know, normally we shut it down. We just do it on Facebook. But I want everybody to get the opportunity to you know hear you and the message you have because you got a lot of young people who listen and, and who admires you. Who loves you? And I know you've seen it. You probably see, you know you've seen it when you was at Mercy. Now you're at Bethlehem. <laughs> so, so what advice would you give to the young players about developing, and you know, uh, and training and all that kind of stuff? What, what should they do, or what advice would you give them if they're really serious about playing basketball? Um, I would say just work hard. Like that's the main thing. Just like, you know. Just working hard will get you so far. Just like the amount of like time um, and uh, that I've put into working out, um, and sometimes you do have to make some sacrifices. Um, yes, but yes. you know, it it's it shouldn't be anything that's you know very very dramatic. But you know, just some small things. Uh, but the biggest thing is just I've always like worked really hard because I know like in the end, you know what, and now I'm getting to watch it pay off. Whether that's you know I'm going to go to college to play basketball, um, you know seeing i'm i'm not crazy on stats but like i do have good stats but like main thing for me is like 
you know, just getting to go play basketball in college. So just, you know, just work mm-hmm. hard. Love that. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. The young people, y'all heard it. I'm telling you, like, you know, the thing about it is, is that uh, Leah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, she is a phenomenal player. So, you know, you, you have to put a work in. You, you, you've been hearing it, but you have to put work in. You know, it's easy to say, I want to play for whatever X, Y university, but they just don't come at your door for free. You got to work at it. And she's rocking and rolling with it. Right. She's not the number one power forward in the state for a reason. <laughs> and, and, no reason. Well, we, we, we no forget reason. the state. What, what are, what, what's your she's rank number, in, in national? Okay. I'm number eight. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> Overall, what's your rank? Number eight for ESPN. Mm-hmm. Number eight. So, <laughs> so she didn't say number eight as far as par forward or whatever. She's number. Mm-hmm. Can, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you say it one more time? Because I gotta hit this ding. Can you say it again? What what, what are you ranked? She does. She froze up. Oh, uh, Leah. Can you hear me now? Oh, Leah? there she is. Oh. Did can you? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Can you, you said, hear me? Yep, yeah. yep. So you're number eight, right? Yes, I'm number eight. That's all we wanted to hear. Now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get to know your sports journey. Let's rock and roll like we always do. And now it's on the wheel show. Let's go. All right, Lil Macy. We know you right now. The stats you put up, everything else that you know. But how old was you when you started playing sports? Um. I started playing basketball when I was in when I was five, and I played in a little local church league. But I actually played up two years with boys for many years, um, and I think you know that kind of like looking back now has shaped me like especially with rebounding because I'm so and like my physicality on the floor. I think playing up with the boys really helped me. Um, but I also played travel softball for many years. For most mm-hmm. summers, I was going back and forth like every weekend between basketball and softball. Uh, but I stopped. I didn't play in high school because of EYBL and like AAU basketball. Um, it, 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 it that's very very hard to do. So, yes. So, but I just stuck with basketball. That I picked that. <laughs> you struck. You struck a nerve. You struck a nerve. You know. I, I, hey, I'm gonna tell you. You know, I'm a football, basketball connoisseur. I love that. But baseball and softball. Ooh-wee, cause nobody's showing that love like we do on this show. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you real quick, real quick. I, I, since you said that, I gotta ask you this. <laughs> I gotta ask you this. What position did you play? I knew you'd uh, <laughs> Shortstop and third base. Shortstop, of course. The best athlete is always playing shortstop. Uh, sure. I, I've been we saying just it all the Talked show. about it. Best <laughs> athlete. Period. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> I digress. Let me get back to it. So, where did you play uh, the youth? Your youth sports at what leagues did you play? At? Um, I played for the Valley Creek Church League, and then I also played for like the E Town. Like once I started hitting like elementary and like older elementary into middle school, um, but playing with the boys was Valley Creek. Okay. Hmm. Cool. All right. So, what was your best youth league memory from back then? Mm. Mm, that's a good one, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think anybody's ever asked me that. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, and I don't, I can't recall much from Valley Creek, but I would say, oh, um, on we, I played. I was the only girl on the boys' team. I think it was fifth grade um year, so it was like the kids in our class. Um, it was kind of split, so half of the fifth graders played on one team and half of them on the other. And I guess we were considered the B team, but we upset them in the championship. So that was that was it. Re- I do remember that. So that was that was a pretty pretty good one. Yeah. Yes, it, that is that's, that's a B real team. good one. That's a good. One. You're right. So and this is this is great. So basically, uh, you know, softball, basketball. Did you play any other sports besides though? Did you do soccer, or anything, or what? Um, I played volleyball actually last year, um, oh. for Mercy. Yeah. Uh, are we, are we going to do it again? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done done? Are we going to do it again? Are you going to do oh, it? Oh, I'm done. I'm done done. No, okay. No. She's done. <laughs> she's done. Hey, you know what? I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to bring it back. She says she's done done. I got to bring it in there. So, 
So, Leah, when did you know that basketball was a sport for you? Um, coming so going into COVID, I had just like been pulled up to play varsity my seventh grade year and like got to go to Rupp, but I was really young. But I had a group of seniors like Whitney Hay and Ellie Taylor that mm. you know set like set like a I guess a role model like and then but I started my eighth grade year. Um, but that was going into COVID, and before before then, I really didn't know like what the basketball world had to offer. And I got invited to a camp called Blue Star Thirty, and it was in Tampa. And I went there, and it was a really high level camp. It was a very intense for like four days, mm. um, like eight hours, eight to nine hour sessions. Like it was brutal. Um, mm. But I had never done anything like that. And then after that, it kind of like just spiraled, and then going in, I had a good, you know, eighth grade year and played EYBL 16U that summer. And then coaches kind of started coming on. So I would say, yeah, between that year was like, I just didn't like, it all kind of just came so fast. Like I really didn't know that all this could, you know, kind of happen. Cause I'd never, I guess I just never really realized like older kids ahead of me, um, you know, getting that. So does that, does that camp uh, still exist to this day? The one you said it was intense. I'm pretty sure it does. I know they do a thing called like rising blue star and then those kind of go into blue star 30. But as I'm, I, I, yes, I'm pretty sure it does. Cool. Wow. But like all those girls, like now I still see at camps, like, you know, most of them are there this weekend at Stewie 30 Mm -hmm. um, and just different things like that. You know, you play USA basketball, go to camps together. So, you you know, and we all just like laugh and we're like, yeah, that blue star 30 camp was like, we know we remember that camp and we were all so young, but yeah. How real quick, and you you just you just dove into something real quick, and we can we can come back to this. But like you just right. mentioned this camp, you know this camp Stewie. You know you went to this past weekend Stewie. What was it, Stewie Thirty? What was it called? Stewie Stewie Thirty Elite Basketball Camp. So Elite Basketball Camp, and what this struck a you know struck something to me. It was like that you know I don't know how many was at this other camp when you was younger. Is it like, how does it feel that it's like you, you young ladies have maintained that course and 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 and, and Stewie Brianna Stewart is, is is a monster, and you don't been to yes. other camps and and we, we can get it we're gonna get into that but how was that anyway? Let everybody know how does it feel to be invited to Brianna Stewart's camp and and period how did it go? Um, it was, you know, amazing, like, getting the invite. I think, you know, we also, like, didn't realize, how, like, how the camp would go, but it was amazing. We got to, you know, be with her for two straight days, get feedback, um, watch her work out, like, during lunch. Like, you know, we got to see her, like, game day before games, like, work out um, or, like, warm up. And then um, yesterday or the they Saturday she did, like, a full workout for almost an hour. Um it was just it was just so cool. She actually brought her trainers in, and we got to work with like her Pilates trainer, um, and mm. just do off court stuff with Puma. Um, so it was an amazing camp, very very well put together. Um, the coaches were amazing. Um, I I really enjoyed it, and it was it's always good, you know, seeing those girls. You know, you, we always see them. I always see them during the summer and at camps, and we're all. We all went to Times Square together, and it, it, you know, just experiences like that are, are really, really fun. Um, but the camp was amazing just to work with Stewie, and it's just – it's so crazy still thinking about it. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, that is hey. great. So, about you bringing it up, you know, coming from 7th and 8th grade, whatever, playing with the varsity, what middle school did you go to? Um, I went to TK Stone. So, it was, it was um, E-Town's feeder school. Oh, okay. 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 So, so at third, then like, what, what all, the, what all sports did you play at that middle school? Just basketball, and then I'm pretty sure my, I'm pretty sure sixth and seventh grade year I was still playing travel softball, but eighth grade year I wasn't playing. Um, maybe seventh grade, but just just basketball for the middle school because. Okay. Yeah, that year I went from se- playing seventh, eighth, and then I played freshman JV and varsity that year. So that Ooh. was a that was a, a long, a long, long year. Um, mm. Yeah, looking back at <laughs> how 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 did, how did Mom Dukes like it? Because you know I've, I've been 
correspond with your mother. Hey, shout out to Mom Dukes, big time. Hey, <laughs> hey, really appreciate what you did yeah. for us, without a doubt. So, how, I mean, that's a lot of, you know, traveling yeah. and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yeah. My, my dad, I think he, like, counted the amount of games. He was like, yeah, that was crazy, like, for that amount of months. <laughs> but then, like, we went into COVID and everything shut down. So it was, like, I guess kind of a break for – a long a long time but yeah right. before that we were yeah we were going <laughs> <laughs> i know it had to be back boy so what aau teams have you played with um so i've played with kentucky premier um for a while now since about i started with them in like third grade and then eighth grade year I started playing with the EYBL and I played with 16 U. and in the past two years I played with 17 U. um this year I'm actually playing with West Virginia Thunder on the Under Armour circuit um which yeah. I'm very very excited for wow wow so for the people who like I said it's going to be a lot of people they they everybody knows you in the state I mean that's if they don't something's wrong and and, and, wrong. and uh you know uh Hey, hey. We, we're part they need of the, to catch we, up. Well, we, we're part of Liam Macy uh, fan camp, so we're we, we gonna have to get that <laughs> word out. We're gonna let them know what the deal is. So, how did AAU help you when you first started playing? Um, that's just kind of you know how coaches see you. Now you have you know prep high schools that you can go play for, uh, which some kids do. Um, but for me you know, coaches are there all summer, like they sit and stand on the baseline or, or baselines, which is, it's awesome to see, but playing on, you know, Nike was cool. Um, you know, they have those tournaments and they have the viewing periods that coaches come watch you. So you just play and like, it sounds crazy. Like, wow, they're really standing right there, but you no, know, you're just in the game and it's just really fun. Like, like I said, like your hard work's paying off um, seeing all that. So yeah, that was the main thing. You know, that's kind of just how you get seen um, and recruited. So you know, a lot of people who've been on here for you know basketball, football, especially basketball, both of them, and they say that like the game is faster. So my thing is for uh, a, a young lady like you, when you first started playing, is that true? Like when you, when and especially like like it's di it, I'm gonna say it's it's got to be really different from you because you're like Kentucky Premier, and I know. You, you get ready to go to another one and play, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, with great, you know, great competition. Like, how is it for you though? Cause it's like, like let, let's be honest, we're not talking about somebody who's just going to against no competition. Like you're going against the elite of the elite. Like, how right. is that? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's a grind in the summer. You know, you play about two games a day. And like you said, you're playing very elite competition. So you have to be in really good shape um, and just, you know, kind of just play really hard. But I would say, yeah, the biggest thing is just being in shape physically, but also mentally because you're going to get tired. Um, but, you know, just knowing like, you know, especially with the coaches there, I, f I, f I feel like you just don't get tired. Um, you're okay. just kind of like, you know, just keep playing. Um, and it's just really like the atmosphere of AAU is just really fun and really cool. Yeah, you're a dog. <laughs> Not for it. That's a, that's a right. compliment. That's a compliment for anybody who's like, oh, he got a dog. Not, not because you you want that. Like, you want that competition and you want that coaching in your ear to do this and all that. That's, that's a lot of people nowadays don't want and I And I appreciate that. That's, yeah, yeah. That's good mm. stuff. That's not any competition. That's the top competition. Elite. <laughs> what what yeah. she said? Wait a minute. The Don. Uh, I'm number eight. <laughs> I, I, look, 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 I'm thinking pop. I, wait a minute, how you know? Look, in my mind, I'm like, well, I, I seen where it's been like top thirty, and it's been eight point guard. So you number eight? No, 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 no. I am number eight in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> Does this sound so good? Doubt right. it. Doubt it. <laughs> All right. So, what made you decide to go to Bethel? Um. I would say it was it was for my younger sister, um, mm, for her mm. just, you know, just to have a good experience um, for high school. That's where she wanted to go. Um, and I wanted to be with her to be able to play with her for two years. Um, wow. So, you know, whatever she wanted to do, I was just going to follow her. And then Bethlehem's just been amazing. Like, I, I just I've loved it. Um, 
basketball, the school's awesome. And then, you know, just the friends and the community is awesome. So I've really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it, it was my sister. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's when you know you're a bad dog. That's when you know you that. Because for real, no, for real, for real. Because Leah was putting up crazy numbers at Mercy. I mean, she was balling, period. So, little sis, let me hey, let me come to you. Uh, let's go decide what we're going to do. If you want to go there, we're going to play there, we're going to do whatever. And she's still, like, like, it makes no difference where Leah goes. Mm. That's the thing about it. She's going to be that dog. That top dog, and I remember right. saying, like, like you're not gonna lose your your work ethic. You're not gonna lose your motivation. Where we go, we go, and I love that because it's full family over everything. And I love what you just said and what you have uh, did for your little sis because who don't want to have an opportunity to play with their uh, sibling or their relatives or whatever, man. That that's that's real stuff. I love that. I love that. So, Thank Lee, you. we gonna see because you don't say you don't you don't drop some gems. <laughs> you don't drop some gems. How would you describe your game? Um, it's it's very, I would say I guess unique because I can play inside and out. I'm not just like a one dimensional player, uh, which is like a big big part of my game. Um. Yeah, I, I shoot the three. Like like I said, I played point guard a little bit last year, so I can, you know, bring the ball up the floor. Um, and then inside, you know, I can play mid-range. Um, but I also rebound really, really well. So just being versatile um, is, you know, that that's a big part of my game. Or I guess that that is my game. <laughs> <laughs> so so what position are, are, are you being recruited as? Um, I'll be a four. Um mm -hmm. You know, in like the in the certain like systems that I'm looking looking in, because you know, so many people play different you know systems in college. Right. You kind of just have to find find the right one for you. Um, so, but yeah, I'm looking looking at a four. Ooh, we handle mm. the ball, can run the, be like a point guard. Point like, four. Goodness four. gracious. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, which basketball player do you look up to or enjoy watching the most? Um, I would say I've always watched like Brianna Stewart, which was, you know, so cool that I got to go to her camp just because Obviously. she's, mm -hmm. she's kind of like that player too. You know, I feel like I kind of like, you know, role model after her because she plays inside and out. Um, and like getting to see her work out this weekend, you know, I got to kind of see a lot of similarities that I feel like that I've been working on that she like that she does and has in her game. Um, so that was really cool to see, but yeah, for sure her. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good stuff. So, going to the season, you know, you like I said, you was at Mercy. You came to Bethlehem. Are we saying it nice now. Bethlehem. I'm gonna. Need, I don't know who I need to contact because we need some Bethlehem shirts or some hats or something. I don't know which mom or dad is gonna to contact us because we're gonna put that on her. We got to have that. And 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 when you before that, before we get that, we gonna have Leah Macy sign this, and everybody on Bethlehem. We we need a whole team. We need a whole team. Okay. But uh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm gonna say this. Like, so, how was the transition as far as from Mercy to Bethlehem? How did that help you out? Coming from Mercy, um, from the region, what were you was in regional? What six or seven? Six. Uh, six. Okay. How did that help you transition? Because you know you you just told everybody for, that Bethlehem been. Been the states, uh, what was six time or something before you guys went? Yeah, uh, they had yeah four straight years. They had one four, four, straight four years, six okay. straight districts. Okay. Um, I would say, like before getting there, I thought that it would be like less physical because I felt like in the six region that was very like six and seventh region. It's very physical basketball in Louisville. Mm -hmm. So you know, I knew kind of to expect you know it might not be as physical, but it actually was. Um, but I just knew that they, they knew, like I said, they knew how to win and they've done it before. They've been to Rupp, which, you know, at the end of the, like, that's the, that's the goal at the end of the year, you know, yes. win that region and get to Rupp. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew, and we had a dominant um, region. Um, our district, our district playing was, you know, we didn't play very good, but we were able to win. But region week, you know, we knew that we could do this and, you know, we put up good numbers, um, 
I think, you know, we beat – the region semifinal game was like 30-something points, and then there's, the championship game was high 20s, maybe 30. So, I mean, we just, you know, knew that we just had to – we wanted to get back there. So, you know, just play our game and nobody could stop us and stop people on defense. Cool. Yeah. Cause she surely went into the state hot with a total of 31, <laughs> I, with a total always, of 31. Points, always. Rebounds, always. Assists, two blocks, one steal. She went in there hot. In always. The it's not, it's not, you know what? It's, it's, it's crazy because when you have her and some other ones that's, that everybody knows in the state, it's like only reason why they're not on the polls, and this is for mom dukes, not your mom, but moms and dads, is that if their school do not put the stats out, you know, it's kind of hard for us to go through 300 and something schools. So believe me, we know who Leah is and everybody else is in the state. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is the favorite part? What is your favorite part of the game? Um, I would say like the relationships that you build, um, cause okay. like over the years I've just built some, you know, amazing relationships that like w will last a lifetime because I'll see most of these girls, you know, at different colleges and then you see them at the tournaments and, you know, just in the college, you know, basketball world, like looking ahead, but also just, I've, I just gained relationship with coaches, teammates, and just other people that, you know, really have your back and look out for you. Um, so I was thinking that that was that's my favorite part of the game. Don, I'm, I'm just going. Uh, Don, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, go to some other ones real quick. I guess uh, as we wrapping up and stuff like that. So let let's talk about Bethlehem, your teammates. Who are some of the teammates? We, we you know, and and people in Louisville probably maybe not know about Carly and and everybody else. But who are some of the teammates from this past year? That 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 needs that need that shine that that because er, everybody's gonna say Leah, but you know you you do have some ballers on the team and and like who are some of the other ones the young ones that they need to know about? Um, I'll start with like the starting five. Um, so Carly, I mean, a amazing athlete, amazing competitor. She knows how to win and she knows what to do to win and she she doesn't like to lose. Um. Uh, she got really hot during, especially regions on the three. I mean, one game she was seven for eight. Um, mm -hmm. So she's awesome. And then the next one will be Ashlyn. She's a senior. Um, and she, having me inside, she would, people would like, I would say loser. And then, you know, she'd get that rebound and put it back um, or just, you know, find something and you'd be like, oh, like there she is. Um, and then the other seniors, Kinsey. And Kinsey offensively, you know, you, if you look on the stat sheet, you know, you, you're not going to see much, but she always guarded our best player, always. Um, and, you know, that was a huge, huge, you know, role for us in postseason that, you know, she was able to lock down people. And then lastly, Tessa, which she's coming back next year, so she's the junior. And mm -hmm. she she would take people to the basket. Um, you know, she wasn't afraid to do that. So I would, we had a really, really solid, you know, starting five that, you know, many people couldn't stop. Um, and then that's kind of who played, you know, we didn't right. have during postseason, we didn't ride a bench at all, really. Um, but, you know, our bench came in in spots and especially in Rupp and in region and right. they played their role really well and, you know, knew what to do. But our starting five was, you know, solid so, for sure. So, Leah, like, well, you know, the thing about it is, it's like. Give us a couple of names that maybe the people, a couple of people on the bench, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can, uh, three people, you can be brag about sis, right whatever, <laughs> that, that, that you think for next year, that, you know what I'm saying, that people need to uh, be watching out for next year. Um, I would say Lauren, Lauren Macy, my sister. Oh, um, we knew that. We knew that. Be quiet. One, no, I'll play. <laughs> I'll play. The, I'll one, play. the one junior um, coming is Gracie, Gracie Osborne. Um, and she, you know, played a little bit here or there. And then Kaylee, she's she will be um, a um, sophomore. And when I got her, you know, she filled that starting um, lineup. And, she, you know, she'll have to take on, you know, a guard role next year. Um, so I think, you know, all of them, they'll have to take bigger roles. Um, but I think, you know, they can all do it. Leo, let me ask you this. This is this is a cool moment. This is a, we have several cool moments when you on here. You have really rocked this interview, and we really appreciate you. Describe your sister's game. Um, 
I would say, I guess, fierce. Like, she's she's not going to go out, you know, right now and get 30 points. But she'll, you know, guard people and she'll get rebounds. Um, and she'll just do little things. That's what she likes to do. You know, for me, uh, you know, I can go out and have a big offensive game. But she would, she would, right now, she would rather not. You know, we're working on that. But right now, mm-hmm. she would, she's going to do your little things for you that, you know, people might not see all the time. But, I, yeah, I would say that that's the main thing. That's good stuff. I mean, you know, hey, that's, hey, take care of sis. That's, 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 you know, that's what it's all about. That's, that's good stuff. So, look, look, normally we do a little rundown, a lot of stuff, but we done kept you a lot. But I'm going to ask you a couple. I'm gonna ask you a couple of things though, real quick. I'm gonna ask you. I, I, I can't. I can't go without doing this, and I'm gonna do them kind of quickly. Tacos or pizza? What you picking? Oh, uh, probably pizza. Mm, where you getting it from? Um. Gosh. I don't know. The New York pizza this weekend was really good. We had pizza from New York, and it, it was fire. Hey. <laughs> she done, she done went international on us. Right, on, right. In, in, in Kentucky. Yeah, sorry. That was – Right. It's not like she, – she's going back to New York, yeah. pizza, so it don't matter. She's going to get that New York style. New York style. Yeah. I mean, we get that. Okay, in the state of Kentucky, Leah, what, what is the pizza um, spot for you? I feel like I don't eat pizza that much, but I guess I was – eat Papa John's if I eat it, but I don't, I don't know. I eat a lot of chicken. That's what I eat all the time. Okay, so. well, 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 you know what? You know what? Bump that. Where That's you get your chicken up. at? Where you, well, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, for sure. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. 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 I'm just, we're just going to do it that way. We're just going to do that. First of all, look, look, I want to say this. Uh, no, I'm going to let you give, give thanks to everybody who has been in your corner. Um, I would say just thank you to my, you know, my family, uh, my mom and my dad, my parents, and then my sister. Um, yeah, just for everything, the support, all the, you know, driving me everywhere. Um, yeah. And who are the coaches at uh, Bethlehem? Um, Coach Clark, Coach Jason Clark, um, Coach Hodges, and then Coach David. And then shout out to Randy. Randy's, Randy's always there. <laughs> Randy's uh-huh. got us. Okay, hey, that's great. I uh, just want to say it, it's been a pleasure to <clears throat> have you on the Wheel Show and for us to uh, talk to you because you dropped a lot of jewels that, uh, <clears throat> you know, not not for us, for the young, for the up and comers that are coming up. So they need to know the different things. Uh, Leah Macy, she may be, uh, she well, may be, she told us number eight, but that work ethic is is impeccable. You have to put in that time. People is not going to sit there and disinvite anybody. And you continue to shine and do what you do. And, you know, I really appreciate you being on the show. Um, and really, I'm telling you, we coming down there. I don't know if we got to bring lawn chairs or what. It's probably going to be four or five. We might have lawn chairs. <laughs> Whatever we need to do, Bethlehem, we coming. We need to rock the gear, support. But I'm going to say this. Not only you are a, a, a great player, you're a great person. And you Thank stick you. you stick with that. Because we we don't always don't play sports, but you can always yeah. be a great person. And uh I'm telling you, you continue to shine and I really appreciate you being on the wheel show. Don, you got anything to say? I was just thinking uh all the knowledge she's put out today and her how she thinks and thinks of the game. And then it came to me while she was saying that number eight. <laughs> Kobe? That mumba, that mumba mentality she has. Ooh. 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 Oh, real yeah. quick, real quick. You, have you narrowed your list down or what? What's going on? Um, You know, c- kind of. Uh, but, you know, I'm hoping to maybe, you know, do something here. Probably the next month, actually. Um, okay. But... Nothing okay. too specific, but yeah, I mean, okay. hopefully, hopefully okay. here let, soon. Let, let me ask you this, because we don't, we don't want that. We don't. I mean, you know, you always come back and give us that. But let <laughs> me, ask, let, I, I do want to ask you this real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah. How many scholarship offers do you have? Off the top um, of your head. Forty-three. <laughs> Leah, I'm I, I'm done messing with you, Leah. For real, I'm, I'm done. I'm telling you Number what, we're gonna, we definitely. Yeah, number eight. Three, three. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, we'll definitely be out there, and I'll let you know. I'll hit you and your mother up. Oh yeah. Uh, 
shout out to Mom Dukes for real for uh, helping <laughs> us and all this kind of stuff. We really appreciate you, and uh, God bless and thank you. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you appreciate so it. much. Thank you. I really appreciated it. I had a great time. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs> Have a great one. Number eight. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. This is why I don't stop. This is this is this this is why I don't stop. Like the the, the wheel show is gonna bring you interviews nonstop. That's that's the wheel show. Hey, let me be, let me be the talk host. Let me let me introduce you guys to a lot of people because that's what's gonna happen. But I'm telling you right there, right there. Zakai, you next. You up next, Leah. Oh my gosh. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. We'll be there. We out. We out. We got another show coming up. Oh my gosh. It's up next. Oh, I got to go change. We got to change. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. We out. Don, I already hit y'all with the, that piece, but I hit you with the two piece. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>